and welcome back to Kate Straight Up. Tonight we are going to take an interesting twist on a classic meal, bachelor's roasted chicken. Why is it called that? Because once you reach a certain age as a bachelor, bachelorette, or somebody out on your own, everybody starts telling you that if there is one meal you need to master in the kitchen, it is a delicious roasted chicken. Why? I guess because it's simple, elegant, and most people like chicken. My problem with this though is that if everybody's doing it, what makes me different? And that's how I came up with my Not Every Bachelor's Chicken Dinner using Cornish hens. You're going to start by getting two Cornish hens from your local grocery store or market. Sometimes they come frozen, so if that's the case, you're going to let them completely thaw out in your refrigerator. The next thing you have to do is remove the giblets. Gross, I know, but a necessity. Nobody likes cooked plastic in any type of bird. The next step would be to add them to an everyday Pyrex with a small layer of sherry on the bottom. You are then going to smother them in some olive oil, which I already did here, really giving them a nice coating so all your spices are gonna stick. After you do all that, you're going to of course wash your hands nice and clean and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. You're then gonna move on to adding your spices. We're gonna start with a little bit of salt and pepper, I like fresh cracked, but regular ground pepper is fine as well. And then we're going to move on to add garlic, parsley, and oregano. A little bit of garlic, some parsley, and lastly some oregano. Next we're going to go ahead and add our fresh ingredients, which is some pressed garlic, some nice fresh rosemary, and lemons that have been sliced. You're going to go ahead and just add your fresh garlic. I used a garlic press. You're going to add it into this mixture here and just give it kind of a whirl in your sherry. You're then going to add your fresh lemon. I went ahead and ha cut these in halves to add to my dish. You could give it a little squeeze over your birds and then just simply place around your Cornish heads. It's a good idea to remove the seeds from your lemons, but not a big deal if you get one or two in there because you're not gonna be eating the outside anyway. After you add your lemon, you're gonna go ahead and place your fresh rosemary around in the dish. Sometimes if the Cornish hens are big enough, you can stick them up the cavity. Um, however, in the dish is just fine, so it's nice and surrounded like that. The last step is to go ahead and wrap your Cornish hens in tin foil. So we're gonna just nicely, loosely wrap these bad boys up so that their skin doesn't get burnt while they cook in the oven with all those nice flavors that we added. You're then gonna put these bad boys into the oven for about 40 minutes. Again, your oven is set at 400 degrees. Now we wait. So my hens happen to take just a tiny bit longer, bringing the grand total to about 50 to 55 minutes. For the last 10 minutes or so, I decided to remove the tin foil to let it get a nice crispy layer on the outside. Let's go check them out. They smell delicious. And there you go guys. Two Cornish hens completing Not Every Bachelor's Chicken Dinner. The full recipe, as always, is included below. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And any direct questions, please make sure to tweet at me, at KateStraightUp, or using hashtag StraightFromKate. Until next time, guys. Cheers!